All right, folks, very first, uh, you know, Mental Health Monday here, and I'm filming it outside my house because I wanted to get better lighting because I'm kind of tired of the basement and the lighting down there. So we're gonna go for this here. And our first topic for this whole, I don't know, uh, series uh, is gonna be, you know, whether or not uh, in-person gaming is making you uncomfortable and what to do about it. Not just from the perspective of those of us that might be uncomfortable with in-person gaming, but from those of us that have friends or family or gamer family who are uncomfortable with in-person gaming. And I do want to remind everyone, while I've brought, up, I've brought up, you know, mental health before on the channel, I am not a mental health professional, not in any way, shape, or form. I am just someone who has, you know, for 20 some odd years, lived with uh, social anxiety and depression and uh, various phobias that have been somewhat debilitating at times, especially with my gaming hobby. And I've worked through them, mostly with therapists and, uh, and you know, cognitive behavioral therapy and talking a lot with a lot of really great people. So I do wanna say, if you feel like you need help in any way, you know, working through your challenges and struggles, uh, because really, you know, you, you do need, whether you know it or not, you do need tools to kind of get by each day. And that's what therapists do. They help give you those tools. I've never felt cured from a, a session of therapy, but I have felt like I've been armed with, you know, a, a verbal sort of mental health. I'm ruining this. I'm not doing a good job at this. I apologize. All right, so, but that said, I do implore you, if you've never thought about reaching out to a therapist or to, to talk with somebody, it's different than talking to like your friends and family. Not that that's a bad thing. You should talk to anyone when you're feeling uncomfortable. Uh, talking it out is a great way to feel better about the challenges you're facing. So in-person gaming is a, a topic that keeps coming up, right? We thought this pandemic was gonna last, you know, a few weeks, then a few months. We'd be gaming together soon and it'd be coming and I hear thunder, we're gonna get moving here. Uh, we thought that we'd be like coming out of our shells and being together as gamers. And what we found is that's not the case. It's been 16 months. And while some of you have been gaming in bubbles, then which is great, you've done that. A lot of people haven't been comfortable to game in person. And there's a couple of reasons why this is especially challenging right now. One, there's still a pandemic going on. So you might not be comfortable because of the pandemic itself. But the second thing is, I've always found that with in-person gaming, which does tweak my social anxiety, it helps to have more frequent games. So if I'm playing with people, the more often I play, the more comfortable I am. It's okay, so now you fast forward 16 months, and you know it's we're, we're back to, I haven't gamed in person with people for a while except for my wife and kids. And yeah, you, you can like feel, feel comfortable at something at one point, and once you're in the thick of it, you're, you're less comfortable. For instance, and just a story here, we, we got comfortable with the idea of in-person gaming around April, uh, but wanted to have be all vaccinated people come to our house. And we had a really great, you know, dungeon tavern con, we called it here at the house. I was a train wreck the night before. I barely slept. I was sick to my stomach. I was so nervous. I had nothing to do with COVID. I wasn't worried about COVID. It was just dealing with social anxiety and the friends coming over and having to go through all that, especially since I had set up a whole weekend of gaming and people were coming in from like Western Pennsylvania and Maryland and, uh, and Massachusetts and had hotel rooms and stuff. They were out money. And if the weekend sucked, it had been my fault. So that was, uh, it was pressure for me, you know? So uh, let's kind of break into this, you know, because just because we're comfortable, okay, at the time doesn't mean we're going to be comfortable when it happens, like at the time of like making the plans, you know, you make the plans and you're fine with it, but then you go to do the thing and you're not so fine with it. Um, on top of that, just because we're comfortable maybe doesn't mean our friends or gamer family are comfortable. And, you know, uh, that's something that we need to, to consider as well. So let's kind of break this down. I'm going to tell all of you who aren't ready to come back to the gaming table, that's okay. All right? It's totally fine. Don't feel like you should have to feel something. No one's going to feel what you feel uh, at any given time. Like you, you, Your feelings are your own. 
all right? So don't let anyone tell you that's normal, uh, that's not normal, or that's weird, or that's you're crazy. I hate that word. But don't let someone tell you that because you're not comfortable. And don't let someone pressure you because they say, oh, it's safe, don't worry about it, come on over. If you aren't comfortable, you're not going to have a good time gaming, right? There's a bug biting me, look at that, the joys of outside. So don't feel shame about it, okay? This has been a long pandemic, and we've already been coping with it the best ways that we can. So I'm sure you've really tried, and it's okay if you're not quite ready yet to be back together. Now, if you are comfortable getting back together, but one of your friends isn't, you really need to take some notes, okay? First off, um, you know, don't pressure your friends to come to the table if they don't want to, all right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't be open about why you feel comfortable. If your friends aren't comfortable because they feel like not everyone at the table is gonna be vaccinated and you can get proof that everyone will somehow or assurances, that's fine. That's, that's okay to do that. But if you're, you know, you, you can share safety measures, but do not add pressure or guilt to people when trying to assemble your party. And definitely for Crom's sake, do not like kick people out of your gaming group maybe who've been playing with you for a while, just because they have to be, remain virtual. You know, really consider, can you still do remote play? Or can you bring that friend who's not comfortable, or friends, it might be more than one, to the table virtually? We had a pretty good setup for a while with uh, when Eli and Evie were playing uh, Fantasy Age and X-Crawl with their friends during the pandemic. I had them at the bar behind me looking down into the screen, and then I would uh, you know, GM into the monitor, and maybe I could see them behind me through the computer. Was it perfect? No, but it worked just fine. So find a way to, to make sure you can still include them. Um, the next thing is don't expect, and this is like my story, don't expect that your initial comfort with the idea of in-person play is going to feel the same on game day. So like I said, I was great with it until a few days before we had to do it. And then I was like, holy crap, we're back in person and people are counting on me to do this. You know, I, I had a panic attack. I mean, I completely wigged out. I had the chills, I had, I, 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 my heart was racing. It was tough, it was hard. And I had another one the day after our first game, you know? I just sat there feeling like uh, afterwards, like I gotta do this for three more days because our first game was like, on a Thursday night and uh, I gotta play Friday and Saturday and Sunday. How am I gonna do this? You know, I'm just freaking out. But I did, and it does get easier. And uh, in hindsight, I probably should have started smaller. Probably the best thing to do wasn't invite friends over for a four-day gameathon. It should have been like a one-day, one-game event with less pressure. So I would say that for those of you going to go back into in-person gaming who deal with social anxiety, try to make this as easy on yourself as possible. The short, a short game, just getting comfortable, you know? Because look, in the end, we still have a way to go and we have to be kind to one another as we finish this journey and eventually end up on the other side of the pandemic, you know? So uh, I guess my question to all of you, if you don't mind commenting below, is, you know, how have you been dealing with, you know, returning to in-person gaming? And that's not just for my friends out there who may have mental health challenges, but my friends out there who are just gamers and just reg like, not, see, I don't want to say regular, wrong word, just my friends out there that are like, you know, because we're all regular gamers, right? But they're like, you know, maybe don't have quite the same challenges that, that those of us who do do uh what are you doing you know what's working for you what's uh what's what makes sense for you and your friends and family at the gaming table i think we'd all love to hear that and just to hear how you're doing your own gaming journey through the weirdness that is the pandemic uh so thanks for watching and uh, make sure to play nice with each other and be kind to one another and uh, i will see you all tomorrow